So which program is best for preparing images for the stock agencies, Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom? Which program is going to help streamline your workflow so you can create more great images so you can make more money? And which one have I been using during my entire 15 years doing Microstock? Let's answer all these questions. Plus, stick around to the end of the video. We'll go over some popular free alternatives to these pretty expensive Adobe platforms, and you'll be able to see that these do a lot of the same things that Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom do. But first, let's get into comparing Photoshop and Lightroom. Looking at Adobe Photoshop, the main features include advanced editing. Photoshop is renowned for its extensive editing capabilities. It allows for detailed retouching, compositing, and manipulation of images. You can work with layers, masks, and a wide range of filters and tools for precise adjustments. Pixel level control. Photoshop is pixel-based, making it ideal for detailed editing, including removing imperfections, enhancing specific elements, and creating intricate graphics or designs. Graphic design. It's not just for photos. Photoshop is a go-to tool for graphic designers, enabling the creation of logos, banners, and various graphical elements. Broad file capability. Photoshop supports various file formats, including RAW files, making it versatile for working with different types of images. Now the main features of Adobe Lightroom. Non-destructive editing. Lightroom is designed for non-destructive editing, meaning your original photos remain intact while you apply adjustments. This is excellent for preserving image quality. Efficient organization. Lightroom excels at photo organization and management, allowing you to tag, categorize, and keyword your images. It's a hub for photographers to keep their photo libraries organized. Global and local adjustments. Lightroom offers a range of editing tools, including global adjustments affecting the entire image and local adjustments for just specific areas. It's great for enhancing overall image quality. Quick workflow. Lightroom is known for its speedy workflow, making it efficient for processing large batches of photos at once. So those are the core features of Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, but which one is actually better suited for stock photography? Well, it really comes down to your workflow and your specific needs. If you're primarily dealing with a large volume of photos and need efficient organization and quick global adjustments, Lightroom is an excellent choice for you. It streamlines your workflow, making it easier to manage and submit photos to stock agencies. You can also handle basic retouching and enhancements with Lightroom, which is often sufficient for stock images. And if you're creating complex compositions, require detailed retouching, or need to design elements from scratch, Photoshop is the way to go for you. Advanced editing capabilities are essential for tasks such as isolating subjects, removing unwanted elements, or fine-tuning intricate details in your image. Now, many professional photographers use both Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom in tandem. They may start with Lightroom for initial organization and basic enhancements, and then if needed, they can bring those images into Photoshop for more intricate editing. In summary, while Lightroom is excellent for stock photography due to its organizational and batch processing capabilities, Photoshop remains invaluable for those who need advanced retouching and design work. Your choice is ultimately going to be determined based on your specific stock photography needs and projects and preferences. Now, which one do I use? Adobe Photoshop. I prefer its really powerful features to add effects to photos and illustrations and really get in at a super detailed level and make small or significant improvements to images. For me, it's the winner. But again, it really depends on what you need to accomplish. There's no right or wrong answer here. And as promised, here are some good free alternatives to both Photoshop and Lightroom. First, the Photoshop alternatives. GIMP, which stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, is one of the most well-known and comprehensive free Photoshop alternatives. It offers a wide range of editing tools and features, including layer support, advanced selection tools, and a variety of filters and plugins. GIMP is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Krita is an open source digital painting application that also includes robust image editing features. It's particularly popular among digital artists and illustrators, but can be used for general photo editing as well. Krita is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. PhotoP is a web-based image editor that closely resembles Photoshop's interface and functionality. It's accessible through a web browser, which means you can use it on any operating system without installing any software. Pixlr is another web-based image editing tool that offers both a web app and a mobile app. It provides a user-friendly interface and a range of editing options, making it suitable for quick photo enhancements and simple design tasks. Seashore is for the Mac users out there. It's Mac only, an image editor that is based on GIMP but tailored for Mac users. It offers a simplified interface and focuses on the essential editing features. Now here are some free alternatives to Adobe Lightroom. Darktable is a powerful open source alternative to Lightroom. It offers non-destructive editing, raw image support, and advanced color correction tools. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Raw Therapy is a popular free cross-platform raw photo processing software. It provides a wide range of editing tools, including exposure adjustments, color correction, and sharpening. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. LightZone is an open source photo editing and retouching software that focuses on non-destructive editing. 
It offers a unique zone-based editing system and is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Digicam is primarily an open source photo management tool that also includes basic editing capabilities. It's known for its robust photo organization features and is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's also good to keep in mind Adobe's Contributor Bonus Program. If you're a successful contributor at Adobe Stock, you can earn free access to Photoshop, Lightroom, or even all of its creative cloud programs. As of 2023, it works this way. If in the past year you have 250 to 5,999 downloaded qualifying assets, you can choose your complimentary one-year plan from these options. Rate of Cloud Photography, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, or After Effects. If you have 6,000 or more downloaded qualifying assets, you'll get complimentary access to all Creative Cloud apps for one year, and it, of course, includes Photoshop and Lightroom. This bonus program is a great way for Adobe Stock to reward its contributors for uploading content that its customers really need, and it's also a great motivator for us to keep creating great content and reach the next level in sales. What do you prefer, Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom? And what's your favorite free alternative? Leave a comment below and also sign up for my newsletter that covers what are the best agencies, the hottest selling topics, and much more. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you soon.